When I think about the One of our viewers suggested we do Gatsby's top five pet peeves. So, that's what we're gonna do. Gatsby, what are your top five pet peeves? I know what they are. Number one, Gatsby really hates fart noises. He's like, what farting noise? This one. <laughs> oh no, what was that? Oh no, he's like, no, I don't want it. I don't want it. Gatsby. <laughs> he's like, no, no, leave me alone. No, I don't like it. I almost just died right now, I hope you know. Another thing Gatsby does not like, Lemons. He's like, what? What does that smell? Mmm. Gatsby, look. Um. Um. Mmm. He's like, no. Lemon? Oh, you did it. Oh, he doesn't like it. He's like, ew. Let me wipe my tongue on your arm. <laughs> yeah, see? Mmm. Some dogs like lemon. That was so gross. <laughs> How about chicken? Would you like chicken? <laughs> the third thing Gatsby does not like are puppies that get in his face. I don't think he likes anybody that gets in his face, to be honest. <laughs> All these tie into number four, which is he doesn't like to be disrespected. So Gatsby lets me film his butt, but other people, when they try to take a picture of his butt, he's like, no, no. Of course, there is one person that Gatsby does not like. Selena Gomez. Gatsby, look at Selena Gomez. <laughs> you see? And to balance it out, we will do Gatsby's top five things that are kind of weird that he likes. Gatsby likes getting his teeth brushed. Come, I'll brush your teeth. Let's get your toothbrush out. Brush your teeth. Yeah. He's like, yes. Oh, I like to get my teeth brushed. Yeah. Here we go. Brush, 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 brush. Yes. Good boy. Okay. Good boy. You did it, Gatsby. You won. He enjoys the vacuum cleaner very much. He's like, oh my gosh, it's vacuum time. Isn't that fun? He likes the stems of vegetables. Got some Napa cabbage. I think we know who likes Napa cabbage. He's like, I like Napa cabbage. I'll cut some for you. Oh. He loves to go shopping. He loves playing with his ball launcher, the eye fetch. Standing in front of the machine and just catching it and putting it back in and catching it and putting it back in and catching it and putting it back in. On and on and on and on, yeah? And so you have it, Gatsby's top five pet peeves and five things that he really enjoys that are weird. Do you have a corgi? Let me know what their favorite and least favorite things are. Let's start the vlog. today's vlog. Since we haven't done it in a while, I thought we would do another count how many Gatsby's you can find in each of the scenes. I will let you know how many Gatsby's there are in each one. See if you can find them all. Yeah? Are we ready? There are eight Gatsby's in this scene. Can you find them all? Okay, we're gonna move on now to scene number two. There are nine, believe it or not. Can you count all of them? The final scene, there are 10 Gatsby's here. Can you find all of them? And that's it. Were you able to find all of the Gatsby's? <laughs> 
Some people wanted me to go over the plants that I have in my place. I'll show you all my plants in a really quick segment. Here we go. Let's start off in the living room. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and in my bedroom, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and in the bathroom, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Finally in the office, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, and finally 38. Woo! I mentioned before I'm on a specific fitness plan which I'll be sharing with you guys in another vlog. We're gonna hit some traps and shoulders today. It's gonna be a good day. Let's get it done. Oh, hey Gatsby. He's like, can I play some more with this puzzle? I like it. Oh, you got Good job, Gatsby. If you want this toy, I'll put the Amazon link in the description below. Would you like to go outside? He's like, I, first I gotta drink some water. Okay, you ready? Friend Corby. Hey, dude. remember like last year I did like a Tokyo ramen like review where we got ramen from a Tokyo chef overnighted and they sent me some more just right now so we got four packs so that's why I invited uh, Sean and Idolin and Sambert we're gonna try the different flavors pretty much already made all you just do is we just boil some water and put the noodles in pretty exciting Ooh. So we have our classic shoyu ramen. I think this is the one that I got last time. It was pretty good. I thought it was actually one of the best. It comes with the soup. This is the important thing. They make it from scratch and then they freeze it. There it is. Check it out. Beautiful. John's has like darker spicy stuff in it, I guess. Maybe just stick them in. Ta-da! Since these are like fresh noodles, they only need to get fit for like a minute. Somebody want to try the noodle because I have my Invisalign on, so I can't. You got it. It's still hard. It's still hard. <laughs> Here we go. Oh. It looks like it's done now. Okay. You're still kind of hard. Oh, okay. We're all helping out. So Ida line over here is dividing the noodles. Just, just put it in. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, Go ahead, Chad. What do I? What do you want me to do? These are all yours. 
<laughs> Here, just cut it and then you put it on top. Oh, even, even, yeah, yeah, yeah. even that one. Oh man, this is a pressure. So I can decor however I want? Yeah. I don't even know what that is that we're I don't either. Who's gonna have the best decoration? We oh, that was a challenge? Out. Okay. <laughs> challenge. Wait, oh, it, it has that on the seaweed? It has yeah. like a picture? Yeah, isn't that cool? What? Mine doesn't get a picture on it. Are this picture worthy? <laughs> We're decorating our ramen. Check out the ramen. So which one is your favorite one? <laughs> Sean's. Sean did a really good job. And Eyeline's looks really good. Mine looks so <laughs> like pales in comparison. And then there's Sambras. His broth looks good. The Moana fish cake there. <laughs> <laughs> it is the heart of the sea. Technique. Okay, here we go. We're eating it. Yay! Gotta try the broth. Mm. It's actually pretty light. It's not so mm. Wow, it's like really strong. <laughs> it's good. I think it tastes really good. It's like milky. How about your shot? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you taste good too. Oh. Yeah, me too. That's amazing. I'm not getting paid. They just sent this to me as a thank you, so I thought I would just eat it. So, before we head to bed, I thought we'd open a little bit of mail because we got a lot, huh? Ooh. From Madeline from Elizabethtown, Pennsylvania. Gatsby, you have a fan club? Fifth grade boys fan club. William, Jacob, Nico, Jasper, Aiken, Max, Chase, Wyatt, and Andrew. They made a fan club for you, Gatsby, at their school for their club. This is from Adam and Jonah from Canada. <laughs> Dogen from Germany. Gatsby, they shipped this all the way from Germany for you. That's a pretty nice picture of Gatsby there. This is from Shayla from Salinas, California. Pepperoni, it's a metal straw from Monterey Bay Aquarium. Gummy bears, another pizza toy. The picture Gatsby of Gatsby and Tater Tot here. Check it out, Shayla has the new hoodie there. Gatsby and I want to thank you guys for sending us all these wonderful gifts again. Thanks, you guys. Thank you so much to everybody who sent us letters. I know I don't have enough time to read all of them in the vlogs. I do get to all of them. So, yeah, I really appreciate it. Just really want to thank everyone so much for supporting us in our Valentine's Corgi on Fleet merchandise release. And make sure, if you want to support us, to go to corgionfleet.com and pick up some Corgi merchandise. See you guys in the next vlog. Good night. Hey Gatsby, check out this awesome fan. Our robot vacuum cleaner is running right now, but Gatsby wants chicken, right? Gatsby's like, yes, I want the chicken. We are